Hello there, and welcome to this special edition of Dratnos' Minecraft Technic Pack Let's Play. Sponsored by Socks the Soth, Soth X Nightpath, Wandering Dark Elf. Uh, so, this is my test realm here, where I build thingies and see if they work. And today I thought I'd do a primer for you of the different pipes in, in, included in Buildcraft, uh, most of the basic ones. So the first thing you want to know is that any pipe is produced by this recipe here. Item, glass, item. And that produces a pipe. So if we want to make pipes where it says emerald, it means diamond. Like that. Like that. Like that. Like that. Like that. And like that. To make us the very basic, these are the, these are the basic build craft pipes. So, the first one is a wooden transport pipe. And the way a wooden transport pipe works is, if you stick it next to... Let me give myself a chest. This is my build world, so I'm allowed to do this. It's my private building realm. If you stick a wooden pipe next to a chest, and then power it using a redstone engine, which I will go ahead and produce now, I'll do a... Uh, a primer on the engines next, so if you're interested in seeing that, stick around. And power up the engine. Oops. Power up the engine, as I was saying, ignore that part. Anything you put in this chest every time this engine strokes will be sucked out. That's the special power of the wooden pipe, is that it allows you to suck out things from chests. Downsides of wooden pipes? They don't connect to one each other, one another, which is also an upside depending on how you set up your building. Okay, so you'll see that those cacti I put in came right back out. Alright, pipe number two. The diamond pipe. Actually, we'll save diamond pipe for later. Pipe number two. The obsidian pipe. So the way an obsidian pipe works is that say you get an item, and you throw it into an obsidian pipe that's connected to another generic pipe, it gets sucked up by that obsidian pipe and travels through it to the next pipe. So here, these are s cobblestone pipes, which are uh, the kind of basic building pipe, and they allow items just to be transported through them. They have no special powers, except they won't connect to cooked stone pipes. So you can use this to kind of build things over each other and have systems like that, because the cooked stone pipes will not interact with the cobblestone pipes, which is very useful. Like, if, I, if this was a cobblestone pipe right here and here then it would link up right there whereas the cooked stone pipe doesn't and everything stays nice and separate which is very useful in a lot of designs right next item is the diamond pipe now a diamond pipe let me just gather some sand here to demonstrate this uh, and we'll need another piece of sand to demonstrate this is used to sort things so let me let's combine what we know to have an obsidian pipe linked to a diamond pipe by cobblestone that then has maybe a cooked stone going off in one direction and a cobblestone going off in the other direction. So say we always want cactus to be rooted along this side and say sand to always be rooted along this side. Well, with diamond pipe we can do that because diamond pipe special power is sorting. So if we stick a cactus in the red filter, I've opened this up just by right clicking on the diamond pipe, and a sand in the blue filter, and then attempt to chuck them in here. You will notice that uh, once the cactus gets to here, all of the cactus will go one way, and the sand will go the other way. Normally, if you just have like a cobblestone pipe here, it'll just pick one and do that 50% of the time. Like, it'll just do it randomly. This way, you can actually sort everything. But let's say that you have a system that comes to a point and you really only want things to go one way. And let's say you have it here. And say inputs all come down this way. And if you used a stone pipe here, they would be routed into any of the other choices. Well, if you use an iron pipe, they will only go out the clear side. And you can modify which side is the clear side with a wrench, which I think I'll showcase next episode, next primer episode. Um, so here... Anything I throw in here, anything that gets inputted down here, down here, even down here, 
will bounce out this way every single time. This is an invaluable pipe. It's probably the second most important one besides just stone pipe, or wooden pipe, I guess. And voila, everything goes one direction. Beautiful, very useful. And the last type of pipe is the gold pipe. The way that gold pipe works is that when it's powered by redstone power, it will speed up any, any item that passes through it. So let's say we have our regular piping system here. And we just chuck a nice old cactus in it, like normal. It's going a kind of meh speed, you know, chilling, walking along. Gets the gold pipe and phew, shot along. Interesting fact. You'll notice that this is cobblestone pipe. It holds its speed longer, the items powered by the gold, if they're in a stone track. And actually, we can, uh, we can go ahead and do a side-by-side -side comparison of that right now. We go ahead and have a gold pipe here, and we just give ourselves some more stone pipe, and give cobblestone transport pipe, give stone transport pipe, right. So, these both go the same distance. We will have a cactus race to see which one gets to the end first once we can get to the end. So this that's the same number of pipes for each. If we throw a cactus in here, which is the cobblestone side, it should go faster than a cactus here in the smooth stone side. But you'll note, it doesn't go any faster until it reaches the gold pipe. The smooth stone just lets it retain its velocity from the gold pipe for longer. So this is useful. Here, there, you'll notice this one slowed back down, whereas that one didn't and there was a significantly different uh, and result in speed, which I, I suppose will be showcased a bit better if I make it even longer. Right. I believe this would be an excellent showcase from here. So let's do an, a brief little cactus race. Here they both go. And as soon as they hit the gold pipes, they will both be going at the same speed. But the stone one retains that speed for longer than the cobblestone one, which is now pretty much back to normal speed. So, there is your primer on buildcraft pipes. I will do another one next episode on buildcraft quarries and engines. And then we'll see if we can do maybe an industrial craft primer. And we'll go from there. If anything has confused you about this video, please let me know, because it's very important that this video is clear, and if there is any mishaps in it, I will re-record it so that it's impeccably clear. This has been Dratnos. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.